What's up guys? Jason here from Thanum Gaming. Just uh, decided to make a quick little video. I'm just doing a quick little update on my uh, Arma Sentin. Upgrading the hubs from 14mm to 17mm. And uh, haven't seen too much on the internet. There's a couple of videos floating around YouTube, but I figured I'd make a quick one as well in case anybody was looking to be uh, upgrading at some point in the future. Uh, I already did one side of the truck. I'm just going to do the other real quick. Uh, pretty much what I've been using is a set of Traxxas aluminum hubs. Uh, it's part number 5353X. You can get these in a couple of different anodized colors. Uh, the shop local to me just happened to have the blue ones, so that's what I grabbed. And then uh, I ordered up two six packs, uh, or two, two packs of six packs. Uh, this is going to be Duratrax DTXC. 5271 and actually they are for Sentin 6s so hopefully they should be able to uh, hold up to the 3s batteries without too much of an issue I had a blowout on my uh, on the stock ones that come with the with the truck so figured I'd look into an upgrade and do it all at once so let's get these open so we got access to these. All right, so let's grab the truck and bring it in here. So as you can see, I already did it on one side. Flip it around, do it on the other. It's pretty basic, straightforward. It's just a matter of uh, popping off the hubs, off the uh, stock drive axles, and just pretty much swapping in the new, the new hubs. You gotta put in a slightly different pin uh, axle pin in there. It's uh, a little bit different of a design than just a straight pin. <clears throat> so once you get these off, you just got your standard hub. Sometimes they will have a set screw down in there. However, this one has uh, already been pulled apart once. So with this, I usually grab back here just so the axle doesn't slide back fully in. Pop that pin out. Good to go with that. So we'll go down here. Grab our package of the new stuff. So on these hubs, you've got one hole that is threaded. I don't know if this camera will pick that up or not. And then one hole that is slightly smaller. So what you're going to want to do is index the hole on the shaft so that it's up and down. Got one of these screws out of here so you can see what we got going on. Screws themselves have actually got a center shaft, like a regular straight pin, but then they've got that little set screw set of threads as well. That's going to be what bites into the bigger side of this. So we'll just line this up, make sure it's good to go up like this. Pop that in like that. And we will grab a... I believe this is a two, number two metric. That. Make sure it's lined up. And once these go in a few turns, they will uh, be a little bit tight because what's going on is Traxxas actually put thread lock on these from the factory so that uh, there's a non-issue. Non for the most part with them backing out. Turn that in, get it snug down. There we go. Let's grab one of our tires. Both of these out. All right. So, Pretty much, we're just going to make sure that it lines up. Oh, don't want to lose that screw. Set them on, lock them in, make sure they're good. Grab one of our brand new hub wheel locks. Get it partially started until that thread lock tightens up or tightens it up. Grab our 17 millimeter ratchet. Never thought I'd be using my full-size tools for my full-size vehicles for my project cars, but that's all right. Double use. All right. 
nice and snug. Good to go. Let's grab this. Repeat the process in the back. Actually, this is the front. Nice thing about doing this upgrade too is not only does it beef up the drivetrain a little bit out at the hub end, is that it actually uh, gives you access to 17 millimeter hubs and rims, uh, which is pretty much eighth scale. And the beauty about that is there's a bit more of a range of stuff for them, and also the uh, the tires and everything are a bit bigger in general, so they will handle a little little bit more abuse than normal, or than than one tenth scale stuff does, we should say. This one actually still had the hex screw tight in there. Pop our pin out again. Grab our new hub. Make sure that this is aligned the whole up and down. Let's grab this threaded spot on top. Let's grab our little new little pin and screw. Slide those in. Grab our two millimeter Allen. Start to snug this down. Right. Torqued nicey nice. There we go. All right. And let's grab this last tire here. Lock it on. New hub. Get it started here. All right. Get it cranked down. Snug. Nice. All right. So there we go with those. Now we got those on all the way around. And we grab the body. Probably be a bit tough to see it because I can't quite back out the camera too much more. But fills up the wheel wells a little more. Actually, we'll uh, grab the camera and move it down over here so you can get an idea. So, yeah, definitely fills out the wheel wells a little more. As you can see, the tires are slightly taller than the stock ones, but that's all right. So yeah, hope this helped. Again, that's uh, Traxxas part number 5353X for the hubs. And these specific ones were the Duratrax DTXC 5271s. So, one upgrade complete. It's time to go break it again. <laughs> Kidding. Everybody have a good time out there. Uh, enjoy the bashing, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Take care.